It's five years to the day since a public health emergency was declared in BC for opioid deaths. Today, a group of seven mothers of children lost to the opioid crisis gathered at Rotary Beach to plant crosses to mark the event. I just feel like the stigma is still so prominent everywhere in our community, in our country. And if we don't end the stigma, more people are going to die in their homes, like my son did. I don't know what the answer is other than the provincial and the federal government need to step up and deem this an emergency like it is. Because nationally, people, nationally, people are dying every day. 7,000 BC people have died. 1,700 in one year. There's, there's no end to this. We need, we need them to step up and deem this a crisis that it is. This here is my son, Travis Thacker. He was 29 years old, and he passed October 17th, 2019. So it's still fresh. If we were doing better at managing this crisis, could we have somehow saved your son? Absolutely, absolutely. What do we need to do? I think that legalizing is our first step, honest, honestly, because then they're gonna go to a safe place, they're gonna be able to buy the stuff and they know that it's not tainted with this fentanyl that's killing everyone. Now there's the car fentanyl, you know, there's not even heroin anymore, it's just like, it's crazy, the stuff out there that's killing our children. A lot of these kids died alone and were found by their parents, by their mother, or by friends. This is your son right here? This is my boy, yes. What was his name? Stephen Douglas Howe. And he died January 31st, 2015. Yeah, and I miss him every day. And, you know, I, I do this to support other people and other moms. We have a great network of moms. We support each other through our grief. We have a wonderful network also, support group for people who have kids in active addiction and who are struggling with their children uh, and what to do. So we have some amazing support groups in place. Mom Stop the Harm has come a long way.